Hey everybody, this is Crystal again with So Save Me. Today I am going to show you how I sew a button on using my Bernina 1230 and the large darning foot because I don't own the button foot yet. So the first thing I do is I mark where I want my button. If I can get the lid off. And I do that by putting my buttonhole directly over where I want my button and then I just poke my marker through the actual buttonhole to mark where my button is going to go. So first I do that. Okay, so now I've got my mark right here and I take my button and some scotch tape And I get the tape on the button first because it makes it easier to place my button. And then I line my button up with my mark and tape it onto my fabric, like so. All right. Then I slip it under my foot. I'm going to try to zoom in there so you can see a little better. For my machine, I have the stitch width set up for four and a half. That's what fits for my button. And my stitch length is set to zero. And you want that for no matter what button you're using or what machine you're using. Because you don't want it moving forward or backwards while you're doing this. So to figure out how to set your stitch width, you'll want to first turn your hand wheel by, by hand instead of pressing on the presser foot because, well, you'll wind up breaking a needle. So, <clears throat> let me get a hold of my thread because I don't want it getting jammed up. There, you go. there it is. Okay. So, you, you just turn your hand wheel to make sure that you are lined up with the buttonhole and then do the same thing for the second one making sure that you're lined up and I see I'm just a smidgen off so I need to scoot over there we go and now since I was a little off I'm going to double check the other side and now we're good okay and then you just slowly very slowly stitch and I do quite a few and then you're done with that one and then you're going to move forward to do the other set of holes then you do the same thing you want to make sure that you're nicely lined up before you actually Use your foot pedal, and again, I'm a little screwy, so I need to scoot. Should be good. Double check one more time, and yep, I'm good. Do a couple more. There we go. Then you pull your work out from under the needle, snip your thread, now you could tie those in a knot, I don't, and you just pull your tape off and it requires a little bit of help once you get up to where you've sewn. I like to use either some snips or seam ripper and I've lost my seam ripper. Don't we always lose our seam ripper? <laughs> there we go. Sorry, I forgot I had you on Zoom. 
So you just work the tape off. And yes, even though that this part's a little fiddly, it's still way faster than sewing this sucker on by hand. There you go. That was a lot faster, huh? It's on there nice and secure. Ta-da! By the way, these little towels that hang on your oven door are going to be for sale in my Etsy shop. So go check them out if you're interested. And down below you'll see a list of supplies if you decide you want to make your own. Thanks guys.